I'm trolling this ringworm on the very bottom and it's dragging in the sand and it worked on the very first cast. I don't know what I got, but it worked. I'm telling you this one ounce jig head and it's a big fish, whatever this is, guys. It's big, real big. It's at least three or four pounds. Could be a walleye. If not, it's probably a spotted bass. It's one of those two. Oh my goodness. It's a spotted bass, but it's a big one, real big. Oh yeah. Yes. Hey, I'll take it. These Moxie ringworms are really good lures. I just started using them two days ago, and I've caught fish on them every time. They're green. You have to order them online. You might be able to get them at Cabela's. And uh, I just trolled the first time. So I started the rapids up there, and I just let it go down. It's, it's 40 feet of water. Oh, it's a big spotted bass, guys. This is at least three pounder here. feel these bites because you think you're in the sand this is the lure I'm using it's a green ringworm with a one ounce half yellow half chartreuse jig head or kind of like a green now that is a big spotted bass guys back up and do the same thing these fish are in about 30 to 40 foot of water and I can't believe it worked on the first time I didn't think it would work right away but it did so now I go right back up to those rapids and I repeat the process I don't go directly in the center of the rapids so I'm on the right side because there's a submerged island over here and that's where the fish hang out around it, mostly in front of it and a few behind it and uh, that's how I tend to get those fish. I fished with uh, minnows for an hour, didn't get a single nibble, I did have one with the minnow missing, I could have just wiggled off though. If I gave up on that and I'm just going to try this method because that is where those walleye are at, it's on the bottom and during these cold months. I'm trying for walleye, but I will definitely take spotted bass if they're that big like that. That is cool. Uh, it's a big spot. Whatever. Ain't gonna ever get it perfect. Anyway, I throw my line out. I let it get about 50 foot of slack in it 60 foot then I latch it back down and this current will eventually catch up to it and it'll tighten that line up and then I just I'll feel the lure just dragging in the sand as long as I stay back away from these rocks I tend to not get hung, or at least not as much. I do still get hung once in a while. You can't avoid, totally avoid snags, but this is pretty much a fair proof method, foul proof method, and I already got jig heads on my table over here for spares to where I can get to them quicker. All right, I am officially dragging the sand right now. I want to see what happens. I'm going to let some more slack out though, that way. Here we go. And what I like to do is I like to get it about a foot off that bottom. Once I feel it digging in the sand for sure, I pick that rod tip up and, and give it two cranks. Now I'm just barely bumping the sand and a lot of times it'll be above that bottom to where it's right in the fish's line of sight. Right now, 
I'm just letting that lure go and I, it does the work for me. It's moving me the perfect speed. Just like you would be reeling in something real slow. It's just barely moving along. And you're eventually going to get it on a fish that is just sitting on the bottom and it's going to go right by them and get their attention. If I can get a fish almost every cast, I'll leave here with a bucket full. I just hope this method keeps working. It just worked for me, so I'm not going to give up on it. I'm going to keep doing it the same way. There we go. Yes. There we go. All right, folks. I got one. Finally. Got another fish. Yeah. Woo. All right. It's a spotted bass. Oh. Not a bad one. It's about pound and a half maybe got him on the moxie or uh pulsar swim bait it's about yeah it's about 13 inches maybe a pound and a half finally got my second fish i missed four fish in a row within five minutes of each other actually really bad luck and uh finally paid off do that again. Get back up to where I was. And I drift again. Folks, I am back out of the water. That was one frustrating day. I caught those two big bass, but I missed five fish altogether that were almost all, all the way to the canoe, except for one of them was about halfway, which was a really big mystery fish. I had a sauger that I almost had my hands on. I had a small mouth that I got to see, and three mystery fish. I don't know what the deal was, why I wasn't hooking them, because I was setting the hook an extra time. I also broke a rod right before dark, uh, because I was hung and I pulled the wrong way, bent the end and snapped my rod tip up. Uh, I lost a reef runner, which are $12. Uh, but it wasn't from getting hung up, it's because my bail didn't open and the thing just went flying. First cast after never even got to use the damn thing I also lost about 20 jig heads so what I was after was sauger and walleye I almost had my hands on one which he wasn't a big one anyway but it still was what I came after and it shook the hook right when I leaned over to get it uh, if I would have caught everything that I hooked it would have been an excellent day I'd have a bucket full uh, but unfortunately I just had that kind of luck today it's very frustrating I'm just going to try it again tomorrow with me and Will. We're going to do the same thing. See what we can do. Until then, hit that like button and please subscribe.